This video shows how we can take some AutoCAD lines that may have been created by exploding a feature line or some other method and convert that into an alignment. Now there is an option on the drop-down that says create best fit alignment, but that's really not the tool you want to use if you have something that's already been um, created and looks kind of right. Instead what we want to do is use the alignment creation tools and hit OK and then use the options that are available from here. So I have the line segments, so I can simply go ahead and click on the Convert AutoCAD Line and Arc. And so it's gone in and converted those lines. And they're kind of hard to see because they're the same color. And so that makes it a little bit easier now that they're white. So now I have all these little line segments that I want to convert into curves. So to do that, I can either choose the fixed curve best fit if it's not going to be a tangent to the other segments. If I want it to be tangent to at least one of them, I can use the floating curve best fit. And so that's what I'm going to be using here. So it's going to ask me to click on the starting segment that I want to attach to. So I'll go ahead and click on that one. If I had Kogo points, I'd use that one, uh, but in this case, I want to use from entities. Since I don't have arc segments, the two settings below here don't matter, but if I did, I'd want to use those. So then I'll hit OK, and then I'll select my little line segments that represent the arc, and then I can press Enter, and it'll open up Panorama with the regression data. Um, I tend to Stay away from this because sometimes it can lock up. Uh, but you can go in here and uncheck to exclude or force it to pass through. Once you're happy with the results, you can hit the little save button or the checkbox. And then that'll put in the curve that matches that area. And then I'd repeat it for the last one. And I'll do the fixed curve best fit this time. From Entities. hit the checkbox to accept it, and now I've got my alignment. If I want to go back in and change these values, um, you sometimes may not be able to modify the curve. If that's the case, come in here on the tangency constraint and change it from constrained by previous to constrained on both sides free. And then typically you could come over here and change the radius. And so that let me do it here. But you can see it doesn't have tangency. So if I want to give it tangency, I can come over here and change it to constraint on both sides free. And then it'll make it tangent. And so that's how I can use the fixed curve best fit and floating curve best fit to convert little line segments into an alignment curve and use the line segments.